how to find the median from a histogram in 202 seconds. Let's go. I've got to be honest, guys, this is a really tricky topic. However, it doesn't mean you're not going to be able to do it. Pay close attention and see if you can get it. The question says that the following histogram shows information about the heights of the plants in a garden. We're then asked to estimate the median. Guys, what are we going to do when it comes to finding the median from a histogram? We're going to have to find our total frequency. That's going to allow us to work out which value represents our median. Then we're going to find an estimate for the height associated with that value. Let me show you what I mean. So first of all, calculating our total frequency, we're going to find the areas of all of our bars and add them together. What are we going to have in this first case? We have a width of 10 and a height of 0 0.9. That's going to give us 9. We're going to have a width of 5 for the next one and a height of 1.2. 5 by 1.2, that's going to be 6. In the next case, we have a width of 5 and a height of 0 0.6. 5 by 0 0.6, that's going to be 3. Next up again, we have a width of 10 this time and we have a height of 0 0.3. Uh, 10 by 0 0.3, that is going to give us 3. Now finding our total frequency, we're going to add together all of those frequencies. 9 plus 6 plus 3 plus 3, that guys is going to be 21. So the total frequency, let me write total frequency, is equal to 21. Now, if we can remember to find the median value, to find which value represents the median, what we can do is we can add one to our total frequency and then divide that by two. That's going to tell us which value, which of our 21 frequencies essentially represents our median. Let's get it done then. So we're going to do 21 plus one. That's going to be 22. Then we're going to do 22 divided by two, and that's going to give us 11. So now we know that our 11th value is going to be our median. Let me write 11th value equals our median. Now, how are we going to find an estimate for our 11th value? Well, we know that we have a frequency of 9 represented by our first bar. So that's going to take us up to 9 out of our 11. How many more do we need? We need 2. We need to go to get from 9 to 11, I should say. We need to add 2. Now, looking at this next bar, we can see that this total next bar represents a frequency of 6. We don't need 6, though. We need 2. 2 is going to be 1 third of 6. So we need to go 1 third into this bar. We need to go 1 third into this bar. That's going to take us up to a frequency of 11. Like I say, because the first bar represents 9, we're going to need to add 2 out of this 6 to that 9 to get to 11. How? What is 2 as a fraction of 6? It's a third of 6. So we need to go a third of the way into this bar. So going a third of the way into this bar, what height is that going to take us to? So we essentially start at 10. We end at 15 in that bar. We need to go a third of the way into that bar. So we can do 1 over 3. Let's write it down here. 1 over 3 times by 5. That is going to represent how far into that bar we go. We're going to add that to the value of 10, which is our starting value, to work out the height, which is going to be 1 third of the way into that bar. We have the initial 10. And then we're going to add 1 third of this bar. The width of the bar is 5. So we add 1 third of 5 to 10 to find our new value. 10 plus 1 over 3 times by 5. 1 over 3 times 5, that's going to be 1.6 reoccurring. 10 plus 1.6 reoccurring, that is going to give us 11.6 reoccurring, guys. And that's going to be our answer for our median, 11.6 reoccurring. Now, there was a lot of words in there. Some of it was a bit of a mouthful. Guys, watch the video back, break it down, and see if you can understand it. This is a tricky topic, definitely grade 9. It's going to be really good if you can get it.